Hey guys, it's Jacob for Starfighters Arcade. Another year is nearly behind us, so you should know what that means. It's time to take you on an updated tour of the floor to show you what it's like heading into the new year. Sure wonder how much has changed, but we're about to find out. So without further delay, let's head inside. First thing that most patrons see, especially the kiddos, are our Jason and Locutus of Borg statues just beside the entrance, but they're just two of many remnants of pop culture you can find at the front of house. Be sure to pay admission before heading in, and you can also find the first two gauntlet games in between the bathrooms. Now you won't miss those either. <laughs> Many of you will easily recognize our selection of Nintendo games as they make up our first row with vintage Star Wars toys sitting on top of them all. Going this way will lead you to two rooms, one of them holds the ever popular Dance Dance Revolution, while the other houses an assortment of arcades from the likes of Bally Midway and Exidy. You can find the classic in Tron here, and have you had a chance to admire what's on the walls? Continuing towards the right of the arcade, we find ourselves at our first section, the Sega section, where you'll find some of their best arcade games from the Golden Age, and probably their best license in Frogger. Also have a couple Atari games thrown in for good measure. You'll notice in the middle of the floor is our wide selection of pinball machines. We pride ourselves in keeping our pins in tip-top shape, so all that come to play can enjoy them at their best. <laughs> Now we come to the most popular section. The Bally Midway section has what I like to call the Namco Row, as it has the most popular games of the 80s that happen to come from Namco, including Miss Pac-Man, Galaxian, and two different versions of Pac-Man, this being Pac-Man Plus. We need the right marquee to signify that. More titles are across the way, including the deluxe version of Space Invaders, but the next section separates the gamers from the casuals, as you'll find the toughest nails Williams games that I guarantee will leave you frustrated more often than not, unless you stick around long enough to get the hang of them. We do have some reprieve with a couple Gottlieb classics, but the difficulty only ramps up when you find the Cinematronics Laserdisc games. Included among them is the very rare Dragon's Lair 2 that we recently acquired. Some say it's harder than the first, but others think they can do better at it. This Atari section may pique your interest as it's got a unique selection of titles like Dig Dug which they license from Namco and a few of their most popular trackball games. Across from them we have a complete set of Atari System 1 machines, all five games in their own identical cabinets for all to try. The last section on the right holds a couple pinball tables and our popular shuffle bowler machine, but have you seen all these album covers hanging all over the walls? This room in the back might be the most popular in all of Starfighters, for it contains Guitar Hero which gets constant play at this arcade, plus we have a 4 player Hydro Thunder that's good with groups, and a couple more pinball machines like my personal favorite, Riverboat Gambler. There's more and more pins to be found when you walk back out to the floor, some old, some brand new. You'll find many classics next to this 7-Eleven sign. Adam's Family, anyone? No shortage of pinball on the left side of the arcade, more classic and modern machines can be found over here, including all three pins of Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. You'll also find some of the great vector games of the Golden Age on the opposite side, like Star Trek Strategic Operation Simulator and Asteroids. Nice neon sign. <laughs> This section of arcade machines is as varied as you're gonna get at Starfighters. You can find the arcade pinball hybrid Baby Pac-Man, the double screen juggernaut and Punch-Out, 
and many other assorted classics including some fighting games. You may also notice another room at the end, and by going around you can find our soda machine and a Neo Geo machine with a multi-cart inside so you can play a good majority of the games it could play if you're not chilling on the couch and taking in the nostalgic atmosphere that surrounds you. Well, that leads us back to the front of the house, but there's still a couple games you can play like Battlezone and another new game we just got in U-Boat both popular scope type games. If you're in need of other refreshments, we have a good selection of drinks, candy, and other snacks for you to choose from, and we offer our own merchandise, so do have a look when you're on a break or on your way out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this 2022 tour. It's been a fun year for us with our pinball festival and bringing in the new and exciting arcade machines, but we're predicting that 2023 will be our best year yet. We'll just have to wait and see if good fortune comes our way. Happy New Year, everybody. Hopefully you'll choose to spend it with us tonight. And if that's the case, we'll see you then.